everyone, today's gonna be an interesting day. An event popped up that I didn't know about called Streetcar Takeover. They came to St. Louis. Sorry for the noise, there's drifting going on. Pretty much what it is, it's mostly drag racing. It's all about streetcar drag racing. But they did allow drifting at this event. So it's ran by Streetcar Takeover, not by the normal Drift STL guys. So things are a little bit different. I didn't know this event was coming up or else I probably would have prepared for it and tried to drive it. But Drift A6 is coming up and I wanted to save money for it. The cool thing about this event right now is that it's raining. And we knew that it was going to rain. So that actually, that scared a lot of people off, I think, because there's no one here. Like, the only people that are here are like Team Infamous, all of our friend group pretty much, and Josh Lampy and Caleb Erron from Dreamstyle. So it's like a good group of friends. So it's almost like a private track day. The cool thing is, is it's also cheap. It's a little bit bigger than our Midnight Madness course. It's like import face-off, and it's only 80 bucks to drive. But it should be pretty interesting because it's going to be raining on and off, so everyone's going to get to save money on tires and just rip all day and not have to beat on their car so much. So hopefully nobody will be braking as much. So it's been a while since I've made a video on them, but I'm going to reintroduce you to my friend Derek who runs Drift Team Infamous, and you guys can learn a little bit about him. So... Right after saying that, the tent decided to fucking explode. Try to take itself off in the wind. So the tent's down. <laughs> I want to introduce you guys to some people. And this person, his name is Scotch. He runs Drift STL. But today, he gets to be a normal person because he's not running this event. Are you stoked that you don't have to run the event for once? Absolutely. This is, this is awesome. So you're making the switch going from a built LS car, like a competition car, to a 350Z. Was it a good idea? It has been so much fun so far. It's completely stock. There's nothing as modified. I just put my race car's wheels on here. The 265 is on a stock 350Z. And it rips. And it's awesome. So you're saying that it's better to put money towards a car that runs every day yes. than a car that is overbuilt. Seat time, just whatever you can, whatever you can afford to keep to drive as much as possible. Okay. And if that means a twin turbo LS, if you can keep it reliable and you can afford to keep it reliable, then that's the car you should build. But a stock 350Z is ripping. All right, and he does have a YouTube channel. I'm going to try to link everyone's channels below. So right here, I'll try to right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you rip. Have fun. All right, and the person I was talking about before is Derek from Team Infamous. Hi. Also has a YouTube channel. Everyone has YouTube channels now. <laughs> channel is the way to have man. <laughs> so is there anything special going on today? Special. Well we have a private test track all day. <laughs> Street car takeover. I was hoping for a really big driver turnout so everybody could drive together and you know, have a good time but um, with the rain here we have a lack of drivers so it turns out just all of us buddies are here and there's like six of us driving and we have unlimited track time all day for 80 bucks and i will also put his youtube channel on screen somewhere around here i lack content sometimes but we go to some cool events so hopefully we'll be able to upload some good stuff all right so hopefully there's going to be some more big events that i can go and help film for them soon the last one i just wasn't able to get the days off but hopefully more fun stuff's coming soon for sure, hopefully grid life south. Oh fuck, I didn't think about grid life. <laughs> well, now that I have a license, I could probably drive with the pro guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put in for a media pass. Wait, yeah. when is that? August, September, I'm not real sure. But All right, we're gonna talk about this, hold on. <laughs> so things are starting to dry up. More people are starting to show up. Actually, uh, 1320's here doing a thing on Derek's car right now, which is pretty cool, so. You'll probably see that on their channel. I'm gonna go film some drifting a little bit and then uh, see what mess we can get into.
having like a burnout competition thing where you kind of go out there and do donuts and stuff and they said that I could do it so I went out there with expectations to break my car and I kind of did I broke my bumper off <laughs> so I drug the wall on this side and the bumper just exploded but luckily I run the stock bash bar and that's what took the impact the tail light's fine, not cracked, the quarter panel's not any worse than it was, it j was just the bumper, Did and then... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what happened to your license plate? I hit the wall! <laughs> they ended up giving us some t-shirts. Gave us some rad t-shirts. I hit it on the other side. Because I'm a smart man. So a streetcar takeover on the front. Says some cool shit on the back. Yeah, well worth it. I mean, the bumper is already in pieces to begin with, so what's another one down? So I'm not sure what else is going on tonight. Um, I'm pretty much going to be done filming because I need to start packing up and heading out. We're going to be having a, a little get together at someone's shop, so I'm probably going to shut this down now. There's not much else to film, not a lot of people were running, so sorry to make this short, but add something. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, I'll see you next time.